Hi. 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 Hey, I'm Rai and I'm back for another video. This time I'm gonna be transforming into the one, the only, tax-free motel! What? That's not her name? Oh, Trixie Mattel. Yeah, I'm gonna be transforming into Trixie Mattel. And I have done this once before. And let's just say it was something. Um, yikes. So we're gonna try to do it better today. And I'm gonna be doing the new Trixie look, the one she started doing last year or the year before that. I don't remember. So I'm gonna go glue down my eyebrows and put on a wig cap so we can get started. Okay, I am back. And one thing I didn't do last time was conceal my eyebrows. So we're using L'Oreal's Perfect Match in beige to conceal my eyebrows. And also I got the purple glue and these tiny sticks were three for two dollars so I got six of them and now we can move on now that looks so much better than last time just hands down just bear with me we're learning together I don't know how to do makeup so now we are going in with a primer just any normal primer will do and I will put it on my t-zone and basically all over just not the eyebrows don't touch the eyebrows the eyebrows right now look perfect all right so I think I used way too much primer and the primer I have is too white for me now we're gonna go on with some foundation just I have this matte wear liquid foundation from Mary Kay and I'm gonna put it everywhere great now that we have that down, I'm gonna do the basic shape of the eyes. So Trixie's eye shape, and I am looking at a picture right here, goes something like, I'm gonna use this Hyper Tight Liner by Jimmy Vogue. something like that okay so they are not even I say we'll try to fix them later but we see how that worked out last time so moving on to the shadows we're gonna use a pink shade like a bright pink shade and a purple shade and we know how that went last time with purple so I'm actually gonna mix the purple with a bit of the red to make it brighter and I am using this pink shade from the Fairy Tale Book 3 palette from Root Cosmetics. Pull it down a little bit on the nose. My nose is smaller than Trixie's, so I don't have as much space to work on, but we'll make it work, hopefully. And again, as we always do, we are gonna clean our brushes on our clothes. And now I'm taking this purple shade and I'm mixing it with the red next to it. I'm gonna put that right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put it here where the nose meets up. By the way, I still have the nails from last video on. It's too much work taking them off if I'm gonna put them on again. And I'm gonna use this pink from this tiny little palette that I don't know what brand it is even it, I've had it for forever and I'm gonna take this pink and I'm gonna with that I'm gonna blend out the brighter pink it looks like a mess but we're gonna draw on the eyebrows use concealer to clean them up and it's gonna look fabulous okay now we're basically gonna do this look again these colors on the bottom
I got eyeshadow on my nose. My nose is sweating. Again, I am disgusting. I am a gremlin, if you didn't know. I am the possum rat. I am a possum and a rat mixed together. If they had a baby, that would be me. I am a trash baby. Yeah. And actually, we're gonna go in with one more color, which is black, and we're gonna put it right next to the liner to give it some more dimension. Now, the most dreaded part for me is the eyebrows, because last time I did this, those eyebrows looked... It didn't look like eyebrows, they just looked like a black square on top of my forehead. So we're gonna try to do that now. So the eyebrows go from like the eyeshadow up on both sides and then they kind of, they're very tiny and they curve like that. Okay, that is not bad. <laughs> I mean, I can only see myself from this far away from the mirror, but I think they don't look that bad. With an angled brush that I'm gonna lick because Tripsy does that. Yummy. Delicious. Tastes like vanilla. And I don't like vanilla. We're gonna take a light brown and we're gonna draw and we're gonna draw little hairs. These little hairs turned into just a mess, so we're gonna scratch that, I guess, and just work with it. These are the tiniest eyebrows ever, <laughs> and I have to draw them that way because I don't have any forehead left. As you can see, like they are up to my forehead. I just carved out my eyebrows with concealer and I forgot to press record so I don't know where I left off but this is how it's looking I obviously messed up this eyebrow there's basically no eyebrow left but this eyebrow I'm pretty proud of like look at that it looks it's an eyebrow <laughs> so I'm gonna go fix this eyebrow really quick and I'll be right back <sighs> is it recording Yes, okay, now we can move on, finally, from eyebrows. Huh, the worst part is over. So I'm gonna take that same light foundation and I'm gonna do the highlights of my face. All right, now the fun part. The contour. You know Trixie is famous for her contour and we're gonna take a dark shade of that same Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Deep Tan and we're gonna take the other side of the beauty of the beauty blender we're gonna take the other side of the beauty blender we're, we don't have space for the forehead halo I might just do it <laughs> I might just do it on my hair so you can see no I'm gonna do the very very outsides yeah I'm basically doing it on my hair <sighs> I don't have forehead this is a complex of mine I don't have a forehead like it's like three fingers tops like three fingers is a generous <laughs> oh <laughs> three fingers is a generous amount to give to my forehead <laughs> oh god stop talking right oh we're gonna get that outer perimeter and here's the fun part we're gonna do the cheeks so basically from here out maybe a little lower there we go and then up yeah that looks like Trixie and now with the other side of the sponge which is where I have the lighter color I'm gonna blend that Ooh, 
easy the blending Ooh, so easy and I'm actually gonna go in with that lightest shade again to clean that up and I'm actually gonna use a brush this time do it like got make and carve it out beautiful and do not forget Trixie's chin scrap oh, I just saw myself in the mirror like full face and I look stunning I love it this is going so well I'm so glad oh my god okay so now this is where it could all go very wrong the nose contour last time that nose was not a nose like it was Voldemort I think that's pretty straight <gasps> could it be it all comes down to the dark contour oh god Right, so good so far. So far, so good. Not so good so far. Ugh. My primary language is Spanish, okay? Don't judge me. Wow, we actually did that. I am impressed. Okay, let's not jinx it anymore. Let's keep going. Okay, we're moving on to powders. I have my powders right here. And basically everywhere else. Wipe it off. Stunning! Now we have to go over it with more powders. I went over some of the eyeshadows that have faded a bit from the powder. Uh, excuse me. And now I'm gonna go in with some white. <sighs> Again, my mortal enemy. This foundation is so bad. But this is the only white I have. And I'm gonna do the inner part of the eye and just in between here, a little white line. Guys, it is just so runny. Like, look at that. That does not stay, except for on my sponge, which, is, which I spent all day yesterday trying to clean. And it wouldn't come out. It still has some white in it right now that I'm using it. Ah, it really is the worst. I'm gonna take that white. I'm gonna have to do like three layers of this to get it like white white and I'm gonna just carve out here this probably shouldn't go in your eye and I got very close there so I gotta be careful okay first layer done and I already see that this side is running a little bit so I'm just gonna tap it with my finger to get that stickiness off maybe it won't run anymore I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna come back with a second layer okay so this is as white as I can get it and now I'm actually gonna powder it with some white powder with some white eyeshadow on top just so it sets and it doesn't run Yeah. I feel like it is helping to make it more white. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna deepen that eyeshadow now. Now, all that's left to do is actually. Oh, we have two things to do. We have to do the liner, fill it in with black, and fix up the edges, and then do the contour deeper. I think we're gonna do the contour first 
So I'm taking this e.l.f. contour palette and I'm taking the two darker shades and I'm gonna use this fish to do my contour. So I'm gonna put Mr. Fishy right here. Let's see Mr. Fishy cooperate like that and go over that. It could be a bit warmer. I'm actually gonna use a bronzer now. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And this bronzer smells so good. It's like, it smells like butter. Ah, oh, I love it. I love bronzer, I love bronzer. I feel the same way for bronzer as Trixie does with blush. And I also love blush, but bronzer, I love it. I just dropped my Magnifies color palette from Rimmel London. I love this palette. Oh god. Like, oh god, the white completely broke off. The blue is broken off, the purple is broken off. Oh no, the white. Ah. I hate my life. Okay, I'm better now. I'm gonna go back in with some eyeliner and fill in the whole eye. All right, look at that. That looks so good. I am so proud of myself. Ah. Oh. I love it. All right, now let's move on to blush. I am taking this coral shade and I'm putting it all on top of my contour. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love myself. I love myself so much. Yes, I love it. I'm gonna go in with some of this highlighter from e.l.f. and just bring life back into my highlights. Back up here. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Ooh, I love it. I love it so much. Look at that. <sighs> Let's just appreciate this for a moment. Let's just. Oh, it looks so good. Now, oh yeah, the lips. I almost forgot again. I have to do the lips. <laughs> I'm sorry for last video. I forgot to do the lips on camera. I was doing them and then I realized like I forgot to film it. I'm so sorry. And also, last video I forgot to do eyebrows and I realized that until halfway through the editing. I'll do the edges better with a brush and I'll be right back. All right, I did my best with the lips. I'm not good at them and I don't use lip liner so I used a darker pinkish shade. Okay, and now we'll put on some lashes, my outfit, the wig, and we will be back for the final reveal. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think I did pretty well. I am very proud of myself right now and I think it looks better, like you can see more of the eye makeup without the wig, but the wig really ties it together. And that will be it for this video. Tell me what you think in the comments, like for more, and subscribe. Thank you, bye!